for accepting my invitation. Welcome. Tell me the first question. Are you a person ordinary or extraordinary? I don't know what you mean. I think I'm an ordinary person because, uh, but I do something that usually people don't don't do. Like, uh, for example, I used to travel alone. Uh, and, uh, I, yeah, it's not so common. I mean, for people just uh, go around uh, without friends. Yeah, but I can say that I'm an ordinary. I mean. So what are you doing in your life? Uh, in this, I'm a biologist. Uh, right now I'm teaching in high school, in science, in science. And uh, yeah, this is what uh, I do for a job. So you now, you have some knowledge about this? Uh, not really, no. Mm, because I, my degree is molecular. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, my master is in uh, physical anthropology. So, no, so not really. Yeah, I mean, I, I can know something about cells. The, about the species. Yeah, but not about uh, the species. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Just, just, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I grew up in, um, you know, in a factory, so I know something, but in a specific way. What is your passion? Uh, I really love to travel. Uh, I I play volleyball, so this is another hobby. Um, yeah, I, I love to watch uh, movies and see the city. This is another hobby that I have. Uh, what else? No, I was uh, when I was younger. I I used to do chess, but uh, now uh, I'm an amateur. But um, we have a group. We do used to like uh, you know meet each other and um, yeah and then play. So I I mean it's like I do every week. Okay, so. Particular position or just you change the position? No, 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 we have the particular so position. Uh, oh, I don't know in English. You're a attack day. fighter? Or? Yes. Uh, it depends. Uh, I can be uh, an attacker. How is it? Fighter. Fighter? No, but there is another player that is like a jolly that say. Uh, so, yeah, in Libero. Libero. In Libero. Yeah, the one in the middle. Yeah, it's in Italian, yeah. like yeah. in Libero. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm both because I'm pretty short, so it depends on the player. So yeah. I like more like this, but Italian team is very good. Especially before you know, like 20 years ago, I was just watching, you know, so like Mastrangelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, but you remember just the the male team. Uh, the female. Male, female. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I, no, but even female, female the volleyball is not uh, popular in Poland, just me. Okay, no, no, but the, even the, the female team is uh, good. pretty good, yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, tell me, because you said you mentioned you travel solo, right? Mm -hmm. Backpacker. Why? Why as a backpacker? Why? I mean, why, for example, not from travel agency, package, just like going to a Why do you uh, Because uh, I'm, I don't like to organize in general, even my life. So, for example, uh, when I used to go in a country, I like uh, to go in a city and uh, if there are a lot of stuff to see, I want to stay there and I don't want to change or be back, you know. And uh, till I I feel like okay this city is uh, enough for me and then 
I, I know. And um, so that's why I don't like to plan everything. I mean, just okay, I see something, uh, you know, on website, if there is a specific, uh, um, I don't know, landscape to see or some church or something to do. But then I use the stick with people of the country and ask uh, what is nice to see in this city, what is the, the best uh, stuff to do, and I really like this. And uh, I like to do this uh, solo, like a solo traveler, because uh, when you are alone, you are like more open to meet people. It's just different as you are. Because um, even when you go in a pub or in a place, uh, it's easier to just uh, uh, ask to someone about uh, the day. You, I mean, you are just more yeah, open. Mm -hmm. and, you are not scared to travel alone? No. No. I mean, uh, I did it uh, always, uh, uh, right now, in Europe, just in Europe, because I didn't have the chance to go abroad. Uh, and uh, Europe, I mean, it's pretty safe everywhere. So I didn't have really, you know, I didn't feel scared uh, anywhere. So yeah. what is the best place you visit so far? Oh, but actually, there is no uh, best place. I think that every country uh, has something uh, that uh, is, um, you know, amazing, that is uh, very mm. beautiful. It depends. It depends about, for example, life. Uh, you know, enjoy the life of course, Spain. Uh, but for example, uh, um, I loved the, the food uh, in Poland. I didn't expect it was a really good, a bit, really similar uh, uh, to the Italian one yeah. about uh, something. Um, then, for example, about landscape, uh, I love Germany a lot. Uh, because uh, I, I have been living actually in the south of uh, Germany, uh, in Freiburg, exactly, and then there is the Black Forest, so there is a really, really beautiful the, the place. And then I was this summer in France, and uh, the, uh, I don't know in English, Côte d'Azur uh, is the south, is the coast. Uh, it, I said in French, but in English could be blue coast, no? Yeah, I know, but in uh, Italy, Monaco, then? Yeah, uh, by even Marseille, Marseille. In Polish, La Durowe Wybrzeże. <laughs> but I, I don't, I'm not sure about English. No, in English, I don't know. A Côte d'Azur uh, is French. Mm -hmm. That is really beautiful. It's pretty similar to the Italian coast, but uh, there are many... Uh, Colonco is the name. There are uh, like a lot of it. So I, I can't say that there is one specific country. In Poland, you visit a specific place, Wrocław, Krakow, and Warsaw, mm -hmm. which is the best you can see. Krakow. Krakow? Yeah. Right. I like the square. The square mm -hmm. is really, really beautiful, and uh, the, the city in the center of the square there is the market, right? Yeah, There's yeah, yeah. a market at corner, and that is really, yeah, really beautiful. Right? On the left and right side, yeah. Side. yeah, that is really, really beautiful. And I like even the neighborhood that where there are, um, how is in, uh, in English, the church, the churches that are not Catholic, uh, the bright churches? The Jews? Yeah. There are uh, uh, Jewish districts. Yeah. A bit outside center. Yeah. Is the neighborhood uh, was really really nice. And uh, yeah. Uh, Bologna. Bologna uh, is not like uh, it's not really tourist because uh, there are not like a lot of uh, very big uh, architecture. You know, like uh, there is the main church and the two towers, but uh, it's not like Florence that you can see this huge uh, park with the church and all this stuff. But uh, I think that the best of Bologna is uh, to leave the, the city. I, I feel like uh, it's uh, the best city to live in Italy. 
Yeah, I have been living even in Scotland, so it's not like that I lived only in Edinburgh. Right. So I was I in Edinburgh and Freiburg and the front, so at the end I'm still here. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm from the south, so it's not even the city where I was born, so when I was born. So the, it's really, really, it's amazing to live here. The, mm. the mind, the people are open-minded and uh, it's uh, multicultural and there are a lot of events uh, and uh, yeah uh, but of course uh, if you want to say something in, partic in particular there are like uh, I guess um, yeah the city center that is the old city so and there are many stories about different kind of places um, yeah, and then even around, uh, you know that uh, Bologna is uh, uh, surrounded by um, hills. So even uh, going to, to these hills uh, is really nice. Okay, in Italy, uh, where would you go for vacation in the first place? It depends when. For example, during the summer, of course, the south of Italy. I, of course, I suggest always Calabria because it's my region mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's pretty wild because it's not so tourist and cheap. So Calabria guys, the south is cheaper than yeah. Bologna. But, but Bologna is not expensive. Of course, if you go in the restaurant that is yeah. for tourists, yes. But if you find it later, I mean, it's not, it's not expensive. The only stuff that is expensive is the rent of the flat. That yeah. is a little bit expensive. In Rome, I drank uh, Frit for 5 euro, but in Bologna, 2 and a half euro. Yeah. So double. Yeah. You can <laughs> drink, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, in winter, of course, uh, there are uh, very beautiful mountains in the north, like uh, in Trentino Alto Adige. There, uh, but there is really, really expensive because it's, uh, it's popular. But for example, even in Calabria, we have uh, a big mountain where you can ski and there are uh, different traffic so could be another choice I want to ask some um, uh, stuff about Italy mm -hmm. if it's true or not, ok? okay. so are Italian men uh, mamoni? yes, yes, absolutely and uh, I, I have been living abroad so yeah, I can yeah. say that yeah, mamoni <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, is that true that Italian women love very much money? No. No, no absolutely. Italian food is the best in the world? Uh, I think uh, yes. <laughs> hey, uh, tell me about this coronavirus. Uh, what is your opinion? Uh, what I think? Uh, uh, it depends. What, what why you don't have masks? Uh, I don't have masks just because we are in an uh, open place and we are not breathing less. So I, it's, uh, it's really, I mean, uh, it's not easy that we can, uh, you know, that I can do or, or do. So I feel safe, that's why. Like, I wear, I, I wear masks when I don't feel safe in a place. So you're afraid someone can meet you? Um, no, that I'm afraid. I just want to respect the rules. And actually, I think that it would be stupid if I get that, like, you know, easily. Just because I didn't wear a mask or I didn't keep the distance. Uh, you feel there is the virus, it's real? Of course, I'm a biologist. <laughs> serious but just because uh, okay we, we didn't have people dying uh, on the streets I don't know which kind of pictures was but uh, no uh, unfortunately we have the problem about hospital uh, the hospitals uh, about beds but especially in, uh, in Lombardia that is the region of Milan 
but because uh, there was the big, uh, you know, point, uh, and a lot of people uh, were sick there, and uh, that's true. We didn't have a lot of beds. Uh, so happened that, for example, people from the north uh, were like uh, in the south, uh, were brought in the south, you know, to other hospitals basically uh, and even in Germany helped us as well um, so yeah that's what's true <laughs> I'm not really I, I don't know if I'm the right person <laughs> yeah. okay but just one number